Rastafari I, ladies and gentlemen, this is the world's most biggest reggae dancer show, Dap Legend, and this is the segment, Positive Chat. This is what we reason with artists, both near and far, yard and foreign, are you mean? But today, I have one of the most biggest, you know, dancehall artists in Ghana. But a couple of years back, you know, this youth was on the hype. All of a sudden, he lost from the system. I'll call him, I'll ask him so many questions. He's worked with so many producers, money just here and there. Today, he's working with this. Tomorrow, he's working with that, this and that. He's not, you know, let me say, consistent. Talking about money jar and all those kind of relationships. Well, we've not heard from him for a couple of times. This Ghana Music Awards, he's not on it. But way back in time, he was nominated some time. He was, you know... On the scene here and there, but all of a sudden he lost. And trust me, now I have deep down into the archives. And we say, Yo, Aya, come here, so man. Make the world say, say, You are alive, you are not dead, as people are saying. My guest is one virgin who come all the way from Amsterdam. You know, Amsterdam already, dance, so man. You know, see it? And he go by the name Charles Mensah, aka Shatawali. He said to me the other day on the phone, like, yo, King Legacy, you know, now I'm no more Charles Mensah. So he will mention that name for you to hear. Wale! Shut up, my bread for life. <laughs> what is the man? Everything Christmas, but <laughs> never through. And that. It's been a long time. Yeah, a very long time, you know. What is happening to you? You are lost. Yeah. We can't find you again. Yeah, well, it's because most people are blind, you know. Say it. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, so, but they are still, you know, we're not dead, you know. Say it. Because you know, so they wish for me if you're dead, you know. Say but, you know, we're not dead still. Say it. You know. But basically, you know, um, it wasn't that I was lost, but, you know, I was just like, learning my um, um, music very much you know like you know basically i was like in the studio learning how to play beats mix master my own tracks and that has kept me like away from my fans for some time now but i'm just cool you know um, um, i'm just i'm just moving with my music same way you know and it's because um ghana has gone to um, um, a level that um, they don't want to promote no music apart from hip life music and that is why basically i'm just like um um, it's just like I'm lost, but you know, I'm, I'm still in the system because my fans know what I'm doing. If you go on Facebook, if you go to my website, you see what I'm doing every day. All right, if, if we say um, Bandana, who, who, who are you? Yo, Bandana is original, man, you know, created by Ja. See? Yeah, you know, basically Bandana name was gotten from school, you know, and mm -hmm. after school, you know, I decided to, you know, grow up to be a more matured person, you know, mm -hmm. so Shatawale came from my click shut up movement See? yeah when it's a title for me you know See? so means a king everywhere king of the dance in ghana <laughs> king shut up movement you know? yeah all right well it, today i have a whole lot of questions for you mm. but let us know how did your musical journey start yeah it was very rough you know because um when i was like you know starting this whole thing nobody ever encouraged me you know See? I would say, apart from my dad, who was like being on and off, you know, um, I had to fight for myself, you know, and getting a producer here and there was a problem, you know, but Jam made it possible for me, and, you know, because the music was in me, naturally I, I made hits, like hits upon hits, and yeah. I'm still creating hits every day, you know. It's, mm -hmm. it's just that basically we're not promoting dance and dance has been my genre now, and we just want to take it to the international world. Bandana. Mm. You know, I would like people to feel that, yeah, mm. you are in the studio with a five-star general. Mm. Sing for we, you know. <laughs> you know, do something for, you for, the, for people to know that, yeah, really and truly, shatter. Yeah, Wale is around. I mean, the five-star general, they both. We tell them we don't wear no tie and we don't wear no coat. Can't offer them see, say, them can't come take we note. Anywhere we go get them, say, yes, them all are cope. So we tell them, say, long time ago, we got it up. And we tell them, say, Jackie, we long bum <laughs> bum. <laughs> The best one of my ease up it up for me now. Ease up it up. Yeah, tell you, you know, see if we're bad Monday. Yeah, man. Shut up movement. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Bandana, mm. where come from this shut up movement and this and that and that? Well, um, you know, basically, first it was Chuck's squad, you know, that was my crew, you know, mm. but, you know, I got into a circle of friends where I saw, you know, every friend was serious, every friend was, like, you know, 
trying to make life for himself. Every friend was like taking good decisions about life. You know, in life, you just have to plan about how to just be a man, you know. So, um, this friends really um, um, taught me how to, you know, really move in a matured way and, you know, to really, you know, open my brains on how to really move in life. And basically, Shatter Movement just like has been supporting for years now, you know. I know I have mixed tapes in town that people really like, but that is what they're doing for me, helping me to build up my studio, helping me to build up my career my um, albums and you know and so that is why right now bandana is like on like shatter movement everywhere we go we say super scary movement ser serious movement for life oh, super scary movement as in how yeah super scary movement is just as in surprises you know <laughs> <laughs> yes um 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 let's talk about your new album yeah, this man. is the new album of bandana yeah, man. you see mm. yeah man people w watch it well um it has 22 songs on it. When you turn the back like this, 22 songs on it. It's not easy for an artist to come up with 22 good songs. Bandana. Yeah, man. Why the album title is um, Read I. Read I. Yeah. Why, why that? Yeah, basically, you know, it's just like I'm calling Lagazi and it's not picking. I'm calling him and it's not picking. I know one day he'll pick it and go like, oh, Wale. I was somewhere like this, you know. And, and basically, my fans have gotten my music everywhere in Ghana. I know the industry is not talking about it, but, you know, Shatter Movement don't give, you know. But we just try to um, put up tunes that are really in town now and put it on a CD and just get it to my fans because um, the fans are really um, loving the dancehall trend that I've really taken. And um, I think um, it's the best um, 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 level so far. That And so I feel um, Rida is just an album to just make my fans, like... Um, aware of me coming back See, into the industry with the dance or music. Uh, mm. Re-announcing of a presence yeah, to your fans. Yeah, Alright, Bandana, to be honest with you, mm. the only station I have ever heard mm. playing your song is mm. XFM. Sure. Apart from that, mm. no station. Yeah, man. Then unless you come to the e you know, Eastern Region side, mm. that, you know, you hear yeah, on the radio no. that King Lagas is playing your music. You know, you've, and, been, and you've, been, you've been, let me tell Ghana that <laughs> you have been a very honest person, trust me. See, the see. whole of Ghana have to watch out for Lagas, you know. <laughs> Man, you know, Bandana, on a more serious note, people are saying that Bandana, you don't respect. Mm. Yeah. And, and Obumo, mm. you don't respect nothing. You, you, you say what you feel like saying. Mm. You don't, when somebody wants to work with you, mm. you don't pay attention to the person. You feel that always yours is right. Mm. And because of that, radio stations have decided not to promote your song, mm. play your song. So that when they call you for so you flex them and all that. Mm. Bandana, is all these things true? How this thing is true? Yeah, you know, rumors come out, come, come out from lies, you know, and mm -hmm. I'll just say, um, 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 from they will stop to act the way they act, mm -hmm. I wouldn't stop disrespecting them. Mm -hmm. And the people who respect me, I respect them, because, you know, it's like we're in Ghana and people don't respect artists. Mm -hmm. I've been fighting for promoters, I've been fighting with promoters just to pay artists, and Ghanaian artists are living poor up to now. As I'm even talking, there are artists, dancer artists, reggae artists, hip life artists who don't have nothing on themselves but you know they just come out to just post to the public See? basically bandana has been fighting for that if you ask the high life artists in ghana they'll tell you that they've really suffered a lot mm -hmm. and people have used them and bandana is the type that likes to study i've studied and i've seen it and i just don't want people to use my generation of artists wow i'm not fighting for myself i'm fighting for the whole Ghanaian musicians wow so basically if you go somewhere and people tell you i don't respect it's just because they don't want to respect Ghanaian artists. Wow. That is why I don't respect them. Lord, have mercy. Bandana, you, you've been talking, most, almost all the time, you've been talking about people suppressing your music, people suppressing your talent, mm. people doing this. Why? Why all that? Do you feel that there's a sabotage somewhere, you know, that is oppressing your career, that is oppressing your music? Well, I don't think no one can suppress my music. I don't think no one can... Um, kill my talent because you know Jia gave that to me a long time ago from birth you know and you know and I've seen that in life you don't have to rush on things especially when you know Jia is giving you that blessing you know it's just that um, they they hate me for no reason and you know um, they just want to say things that they don't know you know and it's in the Bible when you read Psalm 35 you're gonna see it down there you know they just sit and talk about you with things that they don't know and you know I just take it like is, 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 is a lesson in life. You know, life is the best teacher, so mm -hmm. I just always want to learn in life. I know they say that because I've got talents more than the artists they're managing. I know there are managers in Ghana who manage artists who, who go like they do dance hall. 
and they can't stand one on one when it comes to the microphone with me. Uh, you know, mm. I've been myself since I came into this industry, and I'm still myself. And um, when they go like um, I don't respect, I just go like I just leave you for God, because you know, back in the days, I just want to say this, um, but I, I'm just feeling bad to say. Mm. You, you know, Mufti Dabri was at Peace FM. You, yeah, know, yeah, you know, he was always calling me to Disney on phone. Your mother, your father, you know, and what took him was deaf, you know. And I just thank God that he's really shown an example, you know. And I want people to learn from me that yeah. from your core bandana and, you know, you play with his talent, what you only get from God is that, you know. And I don't want it to be that way. I respect, if you ask my parents, they'll tell you. I come from a very good home, but basically, just because they don't pay Ghanaian artists, I don't want to respect them. When they stop paying them, I'll respect them. One in the me. house. Oh, yeah. He's telling us the real story. You understand me? Let's go for the video break. When we come forward, we have more questions to ask Wally. <laughs> I really like the lyrics of Anastasia. Trust me, Aya. Isha? Yeah, man. Yeah, Aya. We got holy for tune. See? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go once again. Me a the hot stepper. Overstand when me say me a the godfather. Cause the woman them all love me empire. And them all a heal me like the emperor. Me a the conqueror. Me a the king cutter. 
when me do it, then me do it like the lean pattern. And the more I know, say, man, I'm important. See me Timbaland. As me walk from the land of the king of land, me. <laughs> you know? I love my music very ah. much, you know. I know my fans love it. To big up to every Shatter Movement fan, you know. All right, all right. Yeah, my, 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 my director just said to me that mm. he, he, she wants you to give us Juliet. Juliet. Mm -hmm. Miss Julie. Mm -hmm. My chum. Yeah? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I love that shit, though, but let me see if I can go to it. Yeah, man. Miss Julie, you're the queen of my heart. See, you're the treasure where me keep from me, that My number one. That's the truth. Yeah, man. Yeah, but you know, basically, I have a whole lot of cheese, so I can't come with other lyrics. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, let's get back to business. Yeah, man, straight. Um, you said M M Mufti used to call you on phone and diss you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All because, you know, he was helping me to promote my music, you know, mm -hmm. and basically, you know, with my first album, Bandana from Ghana, when it came out, um, Marco Kukumante was distributing it, and it was like no one was buying it because Ghanaian said it wasn't a nice music and I was like gosh you know everywhere I go people support it and I don't know why he was saying that but you know I went to him one time and I told him Mark if you've not sold my CDs I want my CDs back because mm -hmm. I can keep it in my room and even share it to my fans mm -hmm. and it was like I don't respect you know because um, he's trying to help me and I come to him and go like I want to take my CDs to I say yeah because he, he said it's not being sold so mm -hmm. I just want it and you know, Michael Kirkman has me a target for me, though, but I just say, God, forgive him, because, you know, I'm forgiving all my enemies, you know. See? So I just say, you know, God, forgive him, and, you know, just let's move on. So I'm moving on, you know. I just don't want to watch those people, you know. Even though they've hurt me in the past, I'm still going. I'm still looking nice, you know. The girls are loving the shutter movement, gangster thing, you know, no joke, you know. A simple life. Mm. Wally, mm. talking about Ghana Music Awards, mm. all those things, shows in Ghana, mm. hardly would I see you. Wally on it. Mm. Simply because they say you don't respect. Simply don't you think... It's simply because they don't want to pay artists. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because they can't pay me. Because, you know, when I go for shows, I murder places, you know. Test mm -hmm. me and I'll do it. See? Put me on the map. Let me be the first Ghana musicians to... The first Ghana musician to go on maybe the international market to prove myself to the world. Mm -hmm. You're going to call me a Betty Pele. Same. Straight up, trust Same. me. You know, but it's just because they don't want to pay. Because, I mean, when you call me for a show... I just link up to my crew. Sometimes my crew wouldn't like to talk to people in the media because they don't like the attitude that he pose to the artists. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they just tell me while they relax and talk to them. And when I go like, yo, pay me this, they go like, you don't respect. I go like, fine, you know, you don't feed me. I can eat my own food. I like Gary very much. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't mind because when it's even hunger time, I always <laughs> eat my Gary, you know, so... Um, um, Wally, when are you launching this particular album, you know, like officially? Yeah. When are you launching it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's in May. Um, that is the end of May. We're doing it um, at this May, like this 20, 2012. And I just want like all my fans to be there and you know, do at what? Right? At Tawala. Tawala. That, yeah, that's what I want to. In May? Yeah, in May. What date um, spe specific? Yeah, man, we're looking at the end of the, uh, end of the month. But okay. um, basically, um, we, we just plan on 25th, but we're not setting on it yet because okay. it's going to be on my Facebook page. You know, I, I know you're going to announce it for yeah. me when it's due. So, but... Um, Basically, I just want my fans to just get a feel of what they've been yearning for. Because, you know, people have been calling me, Wally, why don't they play your music on radio? I love this, your music. When I call this DJ, they say, you don't have it. I go like, yo, keep that.